Camaga right now. State wildlife biologists are capturing one of Montana's rarest birds. In this week's outdoor report, Winston Greeley tells us more about what biologists want to know about the Harlequin duck. The Harlequin duck spends most of its life on the Pacific Ocean. But each spring, Harlequin pairs return to Montana's swift, cold streams to breed. Most people don't realize that harlequin ducks are sea ducks. I mean, they're not like our typical waterfowl that we see flying around like mallards and geese. These birds, I mean, they make a living on the ocean. I mean, that's what they're built for. And then they come here and it's a very specific habitat niche that they're filling in these high mountain streams. But it is this unique habitat that has biologists concerned about the harlequin's future. For us, there's a lot of concerns, um, whether it's on the breeding streams here with potential population declines due to climate change. To learn more about these concerns, state wildlife biologists are going to areas never studied before, like here on the Rocky Mountain Front, to capture and put radios on harlequins. So it's going to tell us a lot of information about when the females are actually starting to do their incubation. It's going to tell us when they're migrating, uh, whether or not their nests are failing. It tells us all of that information just based on that geolocator that's on her band. That We can get a lot of natural history information and just basic ecology just from this information that we're getting here. This research, also being conducted in Washington, Wyoming, and Canada, will allow wildlife managers to create a conservation strategy to preserve the harlequin in the future. I'm Winston Greeley, out among Montana's fish, wildlife, and parks. Biologists plan to capture 34 harlequin pairs across the entire study area.